ready. Take one of failure. And look at that. We have a guest in the upper right hand corner. As you can see, Bubba has decided to grace us with his presence. But, so the point of the video. So, for pretty much my entire life, um, I've made the, uh, let's say poor decision of cooking on pretty much garbage cookware. You know, just picking up a cheap nonstick pan here and there, getting hand-me-downs and stuff like that. Um, that's actually probably the best pots and pans that we have are hand-me-down good ones. Um, but so I finally had enough and I decided to go pick up this um, Kaflon, Kaflon, someone correct me in the comments if I'm saying it wrong. Um, this Kaflon uh, 11 piece set, it is tri-ply stainless steel and I am super freaking excited to cook with it. Like, so excited. Um, and it was even more awesome because at the store, as we were in line getting the little uh, Bed Bath & Beyond promo code where you get a $50 gift card for buying uh, something over $2.99, which this was listed at $3.99 uh, in Bed Bath & Beyond on the shelf. And so we were already gonna get 50 bucks back. And as we were waiting, um, another customer in line was nice enough to hand uh, my wife and I a 20% off coupon for the entire purchase. So yeah, that brought the base price down quite a bit. And I'll let you know everyone who wants to do some arithmetic to stretch their brain do it. Um, I'm gonna pass right now. But I figured I'll go ahead and do a quick little unboxing. So it's not just, you know, my fingers creepily grabbing the box because I'm so excited to freaking cook with them. Um, yeah, and then as we add more cooking videos to the channel, you can watch as we hopefully don't destroy these beautiful pans and pots. But let's get uh, opening this sucker up because I am super excited. All right, so we have the other layer of the box. Use and care. Be reading that later. Uh, even though it says they're dishwasher safe, probably never gonna stick them in the dishwasher just because we would rather wash them by hand and make them last, you know, even longer. But what do we got first here? Oh, we got some lids and some, probably make some weird thing out of this or, oh, probably make a kid toy out of those. Set those aside for later. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? Gonna rip some stuff apart. All right, so we got one glass lid, which is absolutely beautiful. And then, you know, because we're totally adults, we're just gonna throw all the garbage on the floor for now. Um, except for the tiny pieces that I'm gonna be all, you know, weird and put in bags. So we're just gonna do everything. Make a mess and be clean somewhat. What do we have here? We have a little sauce pot or sauce pan. I'm not a chef, so I'm gonna say a lot of terms wrong. Correct me in the comments and I will very slowly maybe improve a little bit, but no guarantees. All right, so look at that. Dishwasher safe, I don't care. Look at how pretty. Nice solid uh, build to them. That was the big problem I had with all the other brands I looked at is they just felt flimsy. And I don't know, I don't, I don't wanna cook on flimsy stuff. Let's get the other lid out of the way. Here, what's in the next layer? Let me bring you guys a little closer here. What do we got? Another soft pot deal. Slightly deeper one. What is this one? Doesn't freaking say. I'm assuming it's another slightly deeper or larger sauce pot. Cook uh, small amounts of pasta or, I don't know, nice heart-wrenching helping of Alfredo sauce, maybe? Got 
got my weapon. All right, what do we got in here? We got another lid. Assuming this is for that sauce pot that we just got out of here. You know something I just realized? I have no idea where we're gonna put these. That's a problem for another time. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and the wife just laughed too because uh, yeah, we have no idea where we're gonna put all these. Holy crap. All right, but at least we have a bunch of, a bunch of uh, you know cardboard left over because that is helpful for some reason. Our little sauce pot lid. And I really, I actually thought these were because I, Apparently can't read the box, but I thought these were solid um, stainless steel lids as well. But I'm really excited that they're clear uh, glass. Yeah, those go together, clear glass. Checking my intelligence here. Uh, because I can do shots showing things cooking inside, which is gonna be awesome. Mostly for you guys, so less for me. stock pot, which is beauty miss, absolutely beauty miss, love it. And one thing I do plan to get for this eventually is the uh, little insert that you can use for cooking pasta or steaming, because I've always wanted one, so eventually I'll get one of those, but that's not in the budget right now. This was a, yeah, it was in the budget. You know, Cal, whining doesn't make your life better. All right, what are we on to next? Is this the saute pan, I think? This looks like the saute pan. Nice edge on it. Nice height or depth. We'll be able to cook some delicious stuff in here for sure. What do we have left in here? Let's get all this crap out of the way. More cardboard. Oh, that's the lid for our stock pot, I presume. Maybe. What is this lid for? Not for the stock pot. Holy crap, what is this? Is this our 12 inch fry pan with a lid? Oh man. This is one of the ones that I was most excited for just because it's huge. So you have plenty of room to make, you know, countless delicious things. Uh, let's see. Cal, the cardboard is not a chew toy. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Holy crap, you can fit like what, like six or eight chicken breasts in there or something? Or two huge steaks? If you're not cooking them on the grill for some reason, or the cast iron, but wow. And then with that beautiful lid on there. Oh, and the other thing that is super awesome about these that um, I'm really excited for is that they are oven safe up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so you can do a lot of, you know, cool finishing, you know, under the broiler in the oven or something. All right, let's get let me just put that there for now because I'm running out of stackable areas around me. And what do we have here? This is the 10 inch um, fry pan, they call it. That'd be perfect for making, you know, some bacon. Actually, ooh, that big one would be really good for making bacon because you could fit like the whole pack in there. And then this one you can make your eggs in while you're waiting. And you know what's funny is I saw a lot of or not a lot, but the a large percentage of the negative reviews, the few that there were for these um, full stainless steel pans, uh, it really seems like people don't really fully know how to cook on a stainless steel pan like this. They go right from a nonstick pan to this, and they think it's gonna be the exact same thing, when in reality, you have to lube these suckers, or else you are, yeah, everything is gonna stick. 
but yeah. So that's the unboxing. Um, super excited. Uh, again, I have no idea where we're gonna put all of these beautiful pans and pots, but uh, yeah, we'll have to, you know, maybe buy a cabinet. <laughs> Or maybe we'll build a cabinet of all of this cardboard that they provided us with. But anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you wanna get notified when we have new videos coming out, cooking in this new beautiful cookware. And yeah, I think that's all I got for now. I'll talk to you guys next time.